major the majority of the world is completely deceived, has no clue. The Bible indicates that when we see that truth is presented in video form here on YouTube, it will be disliked more than liked. That is an indication that it's true. Now that's the problem with people like the Vigilant Christian. Their argument is that the Bible says so according to their interpretation anyway. And also, if they get thumbs down, and a lot of thumbs down, it's because the devil runs the world. If we begin to see things that have more likes than dislikes and it got exposed to the world, then we're in trouble. The world is completely lost, deluded, has no idea what's going on. Of course, the ridiculous thing is that he's calling people who don't accept his ideas and the ideas of his particular type of Christianity deluded, even though you have to be somewhat deluded, really, to accept ridiculous ideas on bad evidence. The Bible basically uh, explains that they are brainwashed by the god of this world, who is Satan. He has them in movie theaters being conditioned to accept his gospel, and they don't even have a clue that this is going on. So the idea of Satan being the god of this world is from 2 Corinthians. Uh, this is backed up with several other biblical books, including John and Ephesians. It's how you interpret those ideas in the end. And let's be entirely honest, your point is that anything that conflicts with your belief system is automatically evil. And earlier in the same video, he makes a very telling point. Ray from the horse's mouth, he created the video series in order to push a form of spirituality. The spirituality that was described by him is what we in Christianity call the New Age movement. We have identified it as satanic. We label things as satanic that are against God. Not necessarily modern day Satanism, but anything that is not the true path of Jesus Christ, it is empowered by the spirit of Satan. And so there you have it. That is all you really need to know about the vigilant Christian. Anything that does not fit with what he calls the Christian worldview, the biblical worldview, he says is of Satan. But you do the slightest bit of research and you can come to the facts. Yes! Yes! I dare you! I double dare you, motherfuckers!